Seltzer, in, back in its heyday, was the soda that people drank. There weren't as many options as there are now. Seltzer was the thing, that's what you got. My name is Alex Gomberg, and I'm the Vice President of Brooklyn Seltzer Boys. Gomberg Seltzer Works is the last standing seltzer shop. Years and years it was on its decline. I give a lot of credit to my dad and my uncle, but they kept it open. They, they really held it, and now it's on its way up again. My grandfather started this business back in 1953, and my father worked it for many years. I'm third generation, there's fourth generation, and who knows, maybe fifth. I have four children and none of them were really interested in pursuing this as a career. He was heading in his own direction as well, but took a left turn and here he is. Back in the day, its intended purpose was to be a home delivery service. That's essentially what the seltzer business was. When I came into the business, people weren't getting seltzer delivered to their homes anymore. They were getting other things. They were going to the supermarkets. I didn't really want to replicate exactly what they were doing. I kind of went into a different direction, marketing towards bars and restaurants. Hello, sir. Hey, hey. How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. At first, I actually tried to talk him out of it but uh, catapulted us back into a viable business. You have to adapt to society, and that's kind of what we've done. Obviously, we're gonna get home delivery as well. Would you look at that? That's a big part of our business as well because it's so dear to them. Yeah, this is Alex. A lot of these people, either if they're older, they grew up with it in their childhood, have the memories that those seltzer bottles were on their grandparents' tables. It's remembering the, the good times, I guess. So Gomberg Seltzer Works is a filling plant. All it does is fills old-fashioned siphon bottles for the last remaining seltzer men. In its heyday, there were hundreds of seltzer shops, thousands of seltzer men, and that was probably just in New York. Now, Gomberg Seltzer Works is the last standing seltzer shop and only a handful of seltzer men left. It kept these four seltzer men in business because all these other shops were closing down. I've been coming to here 35 years. My route's in Long Island. New York, Manhattan, all I go all over. Brooklyn, wherever I call, I go. You pick up, you pick up some new people here and there. You know what I mean? But most of them have been with me a long time. The customers, customers like family. I have keys to some of my uh, customers' houses. So when a seltzer man goes out, it's a, it's a big deal because it's a big part of the customer's life. Our seltzer is New York City tap water that we triple filter through sand, charcoal, and paper. Very, very clean water goes into a chiller, which chills it to 32 degrees, and then it's mixed with CO2. But the main thing is our bottles hold the pressure at 60 pounds. When you take a plastic bottle and you twist the cap off, all the pressure is being released, and you could put the cap back on, it won't have the same fizziness or pressure. Our bottles hold the pressure. You have to worry about losing the gas. Like in a soda bottle, if you open them up, it loses all the gas and the shot. It doesn't have full pressure until you put it in the refrigerator. When it gets really cold in the refrigerator, even though it was cold in the filling process, it effervesces that much more. The bubbles are so much bigger. You could see it, and when you pour it in a drink, you see big, big bubbles. That's amazing. Good job. Doesn't it look beautiful? Looks beautiful. Bubbles give it a nice little bite. Taste is good. Amazing. Back when seltzer was being delivered, it was kind of exciting to get your seltzer delivery because along with your seltzer delivery, you got a Fox's You Bet syrup. And the kids would always love to get their Fox's You Bet syrup so they make their egg creams. A New York style egg cream is Fox's You Bet syrup. It's gotta be Fox's You Bet syrup, whole milk, and old fashioned seltzer. And you mix it together and it's a carbonated fizzy chocolate milk. When you drink our seltzer, you're gonna feel a bite in the back of your throat. You're not gonna be able to gulp it down or drink it up very, very fast. It's gonna like, you're gonna feel this tingly sensation. And that's what good seltzer is. Good seltzer should hurt when you drink it. I think I go through about three or four bottles a day, one with lunch, one with dinner, and then during the course of the day, I'll just drink and that's all I drink is seltzer. I used to drink soda, but uh, my kids made me. <laughs> the customers like to look at these different bottles because it's a story. This bottle could have been, you know, my great-grandfather could have drank from this bottle. But now they're all made up and have different logos on either side and this one says 1964, that's when this head was built. Ten different logos on the bottle and ten different types of heads. So you pick up a bottle every time you're looking at history. And I'm 30 years old, 
some of the seltzermen, uh, Walter's 60, Ronnie's, I believe in his 60s. Yeah, we exercise. These aren't young guys. You know, one day Brooklyn Seltzer is probably going to be the last one. I mean, I can't imagine too many people getting into this business now, but that's fine. We'll tackle the whole area, you know? We'll keep it going.